Yo, what's up guys? Chase the bro here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Invasion stream. Hello everybody, hello. Welcome everybody, welcome. Hello Sin, hello Akil, my man, what's up? Daniel, hello. Shadoza, hello. Holy hello, my dude, hello. What's going on? How is everybody on this fine Sunday? Just making sure everything's all set with my stream. I think it looks good though. I should be good to go. Um, let me just get that out of the way. Perfect. Alright, what up everybody? What up? Today we're going to be doing some soul level 80 invasions. I got quite the, the weapon array for you guys today. So it's all dexterity, uh, sharp infused weapons. So there's going to be weapons on here that I don't usually use. I haven't used the uh, twin axes in a bit. Or sorry, sorry. I haven't used the warden twin blades in a bit. I haven't used the dexterity build in a while. Uh, I put a morning star on the build. I put a four prong plow. Rapier, Estoc. I have my Astores as my, my bay dex weapon. What's up, Mo? Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're just getting settled here. Uh, it is a soul level 82 build. It was supposed to be 81, but I needed one more vitality to use the Murakumo. And I really wanted to have like a curve, or curve great sword since I never use these either. It is fun. We'll just start with a warm up here. Hello, Skadoosh. Hello, everybody. How's your Sunday? Oh, there we go. Just wanted to make sure my mic was also not in an annoying place. We're good though. Ah, uh, there we go. I think I'm set. Oh, Ring City. Okay. Right off the bat. No harm. Oreo Shake. Ah, yes. The best shake out of all the shakes. And we got buffs. It's been a while since I haven't done like an elemental infused build. We've been rocking a lot of lightning and stuff. All laps are tryhards. I'm a half lap though. I'm only wearing the helm and the chest piece. The rest aren't. I just needed the poise, okay? <laughs> and also, me, me and Lost were just like testing poise breakpoints today since not all are listed on websites. Uh, and yeah, his build is great for what it is. I just didn't also want to rock the exact same fashion, so I made an alternate. Yeah, I'm going. Going for some nice combos today. We're going to see what we can pull off. What have you guys all been doing this weekend? Anything interesting to share with the group? Uh, any advice when it comes to Dark Souls Remaster? Honestly, uh, once you get used to like the poise combat, it's it, it, it just takes some getting used to. Once you learn like the poise, breakpoints and stuff, you can trade a lot and learn how to backstab efficiently in that game. Hello, Oreo Shake. I'll give you a nice bow. Well, if we're just gonna have a nice honor fight, then I'll, I won't use my bundles. Yes, I love the way the blue contrasts with the red. <laughs> it looks so interesting, honestly. One, have I learned to roll catch with this? This guy's a reaction roller. I wish that full comboed. Sadly, it, it doesn't. But, you know, sometimes if they don't roll, you'll catch some of it, so it's nice. Good, fight turn. Liver hurts. I've been drinking a lot of coffee, so I'm on my liver, I guess, but I feel you on that. <laughs> I know. Like, I was practicing armor and ring. Uh, not armor, ring, sorry, weapon and ring, and that's hard enough for me. Collapse him. <laughs> yes. Coffee, I actually have been, like, getting, you know, more and more accustomed to drinking coffee. This is quite soothing. I know it hypes some people up, but I find it very relaxing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're good. I uh, no no the poise doesn't change crooks just the damage so you would still get out traded if you did like a, a rapier poke with an ultra That'd be pretty insane if you got the poise. I probably wouldn't use it if it was like that That'd be ridiculous <laughs> But the swaps do add some pretty like diverse movesets I kind of like that that they open up combos. It feels like a more of an in-depth combat if you do that Like here. I'll try this. Let's see if it works. Hello there, P. Kalina. So you're a pyro. Any particular reason you're leading me to the edge of a cliff? Oh, you would like to hit me. You're gonna miss my head. 
Nice, nice. Hit that buff. Get that buff in there. Yes. Come down to the battleground, bro. This way. This way, come here. Come to the battleground. Why do you want to fight on the ledge? I don't want either of us to roll off the cliff, but okay. That's a lame end to a fight. You're not letting me do my combo. Oh well. We're not doing a combo then. We're just gonna have a nice old fashioned Claymore fight. With some lightning levels. Um, that was weird. Should have poised through that, but okay. Whatever you say, P. Kalina. And you're gonna heal. Oh, you do do. You do do, son. Oh, that's right, because here's something I also learned that uh, weapons that have fire do more poise damage. My man, you healed three times? Bruh. Alright. If that is what you desire. You want a heal fight? Well, I've been meaning to try some things. Let's see how much damage these do with a bundle, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho, that's gonna scare you, isn't it, P. Kalina? Run, run for your life, P. Oh, you didn't run fast enough. <laughs> Uh, I, I, like I've, I've tried to test a lot of poise breakpoints on myself lately, and I've noticed with the Onyx Blade when it's buffed, sometimes like I should poise through it, but because it has the fire buff around it, it it for some reason damages my poise more, so I get stunned. I don't know if that's official or what, but that's what I've seen personally. So, oh, uh, and Sin, sup, friend, sup, my man. How have you been, dude? Thank you so much for the support, brother. Um, yeah, I would say just like the regular axes, croaks. I would say, yeah, just the damage. Like, the most of them do da have damage straight swords, which is good because they are slower. They have a little bit more range. Well, they should, but sometimes you'll notice that just straight swords in general always have that weird phantom range. I don't know why. I feel like he's right above me. That sketches me out a little bit. <laughs> I uh, know I play on PC. You're gonna see Xbox prompts because the way Steam works with controllers is it shows you that. But I'm using a PS4 controller on a PC, so <laughs> I'm the furthest thing away from using an Xbox, I would say. Being from Germany, damn, yeah, you on the other side of the planet almost. Are they down here? Hmm. Oh, they are. Oh, but you're fog walling. Um. Uh... Well, let me just think. If I do Obscuring Ring, I could just bow, I guess. Mm, you know, we'll see if we can hit an ultimate trick shot here. That'll work. Actually, why would I have not put the Millwood Great Arrow? There we go. Ah, oh. here we'll go. We'll go bait him inside, and then when he goes back out to the bridge, we'll snipe him. I, I need him to be standing close enough to the ledge, or else it'll just knock him, and then he'll know that I can do that. You know. So I gotta, I gotta scare him back there. Although his onion looks like a prime target. Wow! They move right on time, huh? Ah! Guess I'm fighting. Hahaha! <laughs> Not that I'm opposed to this anyway. Are you actually summoning another one? My question still stands, is he above me? If he is, this might be da this is dangerous. Hey. 
Damn you, you cowards. I, the latency is making this hard to even punish an R1 from them. Heh. What? Wow. <laughs> Alright. So, Vestige hits the pole, but I still take full damage. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, it's turning into an actual war. All right, then. Let's just do some damage output. Are they distracting him right now? <gasps> they weren't distracting him, but... <laughs> okay, this whole area. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's the most annoying place to fight a gank, 100%. Fuck that, I'm not going down in there again. I'm just gonna bow hurt them. That's 100% not worth it. Oh! Oh, another blue! Okay, this one's brave. I gotta admire his courage. Come here, Blueby. Come here, buddy. No. What? Why'd he send him home? That's the most troll shit. He doesn't want me to get Estus from the blue. What a cancer, man. You little bitty. Oh, you're lucky I was out of stamina. <laughs> oh, I good thing I had that. Watch out, red boy. Death from above. People set it up there because that's like one of the hardest places to fight, like, as an invader. They just literally can just surround you and you can't move. But, now that I got a teammate, they're kind of fucked. Unless he uses the fog wall, alright? So, we'll see. Alright, so where's your son, bro? There he is. Watch out, buddy. There's a vested user. And that shouldn't have even come close to hitting me, but it did. How much vestige does one need, brother? I've always wondered, how do you guys have so much... How do you have so much FP? <laughs> it's mind-boggling. What? Okay, buddy. Thank you, invader. Your sacrifice will not go unnoticed. Come on. Throw all your vestige. Let's go. How much more? Do That's so crazy. <laughs> like a thousand. It's literally an endless turret of vestige. And they're laggy, so you can't even, like, punish them. Uh, there he goes. Oh, and I'm dead too. And I'm not dead. Hmm. Oh my god. 
You need 60 attunement to throw 10. This guy actually has like endless attunement. It's kind of nuts. And I'd go down there, but like that onion, dude, that onion is insanely laggy. I can't even. Oh my god. And of course he's fog walling. And of course that still tailed me. The ghost of onions passed right there. Nice, another invader. Perfect. And he's an onion, a tanky, ultra wielding onion, because this boy is a viewer. I love you. Thank you for team invading this cancer. They deserve all that's going to happen to them. Just don't plunge me. That's all I ask. Um, you know what, give me the access, but I'm just whiff punishing anyway. Okay, go ahead and point down all you want, that's you boy. Yeah, nice. Keep throwing them at the bonfire. I love it. Thank you. Parry the air? No? Yeah, that's right. I know how to wield that. Great. Oh, now it's a, a, a blue. Perfect. That's what we all wanted. Oh no, Seagull! Get away! Oh my god, Invader dead in two seconds, and now there's a blue. Damn, dude, I thought he'd be tankier and survive longer. I just need a distraction where Vestige isn't coming my way for like two milliseconds to kill one of them, and I can't. Because I keep getting Vestiged every two seconds. At least the blue isn't the smartest. Oh my god. What is that luck? Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, I won. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he quit out! <laughs> Yo, he's so pissed. Oh my god, he's so mad. Oh, that's so good. Oh, he's so mad, dude. He, he, he alt f forward on the way down. What a loser. That's fucking amazing. Oh, best gang so far. GG. <laughs> If you're watching this, you are garbage. <laughs> oh, so funny. He pointed down too, that's the best part. I love when they point down before they lose. <laughs> uh, utter garbage. That Koda doesn't save him anything. He wanted me dead. Quitting out just makes you look like an even bigger loser. I don't care about killing you. You alt f 4 just proves to me that you couldn't beat me. <laughs> that was so funny, though. And honestly, quitouts are better content for YouTube. <laughs> to win in my books. Actually, yeah, quitting out won't save you if you're, like, mid-fall. He alt f 4 Would it, though? Actually, I don't know. That's a, that's a good test. I'm not sure. He was like in the depths of almost dying. Like, he probably just alt f forward before he died. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I know Vafa, I know. But the blue wasn't looking up. He just walked forward. Because he got hit by the second one, so... That told me that he didn't notice me at first. Yodi, 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 yodi. Uh, yeah, I know. I know there's quitouts where you can, like, well, some speedrunners do those, like, weird quitout strats where they roll off at the profane capital area, and, like, right before they fall. He's poo poo. I love that you were invested in that, man. Thank you. 
I was very invested in that invasion. <laughs> Snapple Apple, right? Dude, there's just certain there's certain things you can do in this game that just trigger anyone watching or playing. You're like, you little bitch. <laughs> it's fun though. Definitely hypes me up more anyway. <laughs> okay, where are we going? So they haven't been here yet. I don't think they're I always am lost if they're either at that bonfire or this one, but like I know that they're probably this way. And then I'm wrong because the blue's getting summoned this way. <laughs> and there's the host right there. Quack summoned! Shit. Dude, we got, he's got a duck on his team. I'm doomed. He's got a mighty duck. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just help you out there, dragon fella. They say death brings peace. I want to give you peace. <laughs> oh. Oh. By strength. Was that his? That was the host. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. The Wex Dust command is on a timer. Do you think I, he plays too much or not? I feel like five minutes is like how often I get asked it sometimes. So. You want some sex dust? You just gotta go download it from the the sex the sexist mod site. <laughs> the Nexus mods, yeah. Can you weapon swap? Yeah, uh, anything that has a hit attack, you can weapon swap. Uh, I don't know how good Fist would be, though. I mean, I could do it for you, though. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so. Oh, you wanted an ultra. Like, it doesn't really get that much. That's probably a worse hitbox, but you can do it. There's certain ones that are kind of fun and kind of worth the, the risk of doing. The other ones, that one's not worth the risk. <laughs> Someone could just bash your face in. Um, faith build next? Yeah, I was going to ask you guys. So I made this build because I haven't done decks in a while. And I find it a lot of fun to just use sometimes. What build would you like to see next? Me and Lost always have chats before our stream at what soul level to do it and just builds and stuff, so we've been having fun with that. I think I might do that as like a members only stream too, where I just like make builds with you guys. And you guys can help me out, choose what you want me to use on it and stuff. I think that'd be a cool thing to do. Slick da kid. <laughs> you slippery da kid, get the hell back here. <laughs> I'm chasing you down with my pitchfork, I swear to god. Oof, that is death. Good fight. Well, good jog, I should say. Ooh. Chains and whips, brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> yeah, you know, I might make a sorcery, a sorcery build. I do, I do like my lightning miracles, like those are fine, but yeah, sorcery is definitely a challenge for me. Since I'm mostly playing with my sword though. Yeah, I really just realized that that guy was wearing Fallen Knight sometimes, I just get too into the combos and stuff. Becker, for sure. Actually, the past week I was sitting at what soul level, like 110, 120, 130. I made a 60, I made like a soul level 60 lightning infused build, because I, I don't think I've used that since like the beginning of 2019. I haven't been invading level 60 in a long time. It's always been like meta 130, 110, 105 the past like two months, so. Uh, yeah, the, wait, charge attack. You mean like the weapon art? The weapon art has pretty insane poise and damage reduction. I need to test that to see what can and can't break that. I wanna know, because I hate that attack sometimes. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, nice, Becker, for sure. Yeah, always feel free to DM you guys, like, anything like that, guys. Oh, you mean the charged heavy attack? Hmm. I mean, some charged R2s, they, they get, they get like, a poise breakpoint. Yeah. But it depends on what you're using against it, you know? Like, sometimes you use a Claymore, and it, it, you don't have enough poise to tank that. Hmm. Hello boys, hello. 
as I am in search of our host, who's probably got the shortcut, maybe, possibly. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're gonna go up and find out. I realized that I didn't even do this. If you're gonna waste the points to put a miracle on you, you better use that damn miracle. I know it's crazy, Travis. It's kind of true, though. It does have a lot of uh, poise. Can't think of anything clever to say. <laughs> Darth Uchiha, thank you so much, man. You know what? Sometimes I just like donate and sub to like streamers too, and I don't know what to say. I just want to support the channel, so I appreciate the love, dude. And I like the love of Sasuke. I am also edgy like that. Don't forget to use your mana pot. <laughs> I got so much hate for my arena videos for not having the FP flask on my hot, not even my hot bar, like my actual bar here. So I put it on finally. They noticed all the comments. I was like, all right, all right, I got it. <laughs> Faith, strength build weapon suggestions. James, actually, if you go to probably a couple days ago, uh, I did a couple streams using one and I have a highlight video using a strength faith build. So you can see what I used and see if you like any of those weapons. But mostly it was like I had the Lothric Knight Ultra. I have no idea what this guy is. This is not a good use of our time, boys. Yeah, I had all lightning infused weapons. I had a blessed Lothric Knight like Ultra. Um, I had, I'm trying to think of blessed weapons that I used. If anything has innate lightning damage, I usually made it blessed because it had more damage that way. Maybe he was. <laughs> Either way, though, if it's a lone host hiding, it's not going to be really what I want it to be anyway. Where do I find all the pictures I use? I just Google the character that I want. Usually with, like, sword in hand or something as, like, a, a pretense to it. Ends up working really well, actually. I don't think I've ever not found a character that I wanted as a, as a thumbnail. It's pretty nice. Ah, elevator is up top. I see, I see. Oh, but little man is behind me. Hello. Let's do it, Logan. We can't fight from around the pillar. Not sure what your plan was. Oh, you a speedy one, huh? You like to go fast like Sanic? And then use all of your stamina on R1. <laughs> I see, I feel you, I feel you. Oh, I thought that might be a good roll catch attack. That one is though, good fight Logan. <laughs> um, the only new mods that I've, I have seen, uh, there's like always new Cinder's mods, like always updates to that. that I haven't played the newest one yet. Um. Wex Dust, if you haven't seen it, I don't know how long it's been, MK. I know you always watch the streams, so I assume you've seen uh, Wex Dust. I'm trying to think of other ones. And the color changing script thing I used. That's really it, though. I haven't seen anything new. I don't often check the site, though. Maybe I should. There could be some very cool ones. Maybe me and some other like Dark Souls player could do like a, an aggro. So there's like a, a mod that makes all the PvE a lot more aggressive. And maybe more of them. I kind of want to try that. Hmm. I know there's a there's like a multiplier mod where there's like three of each boss. That sounds pretty insane. I haven't done that. That would be cool. As making a new character. You seen Vex Dust? Yeah, yeah. Gotta gotta progress my Dark Souls three on PC. Yeah, I mean honestly, it, it does help a lot. Still need to dive into really damn damn dude. Yeah, the DLCs add a lot of weapons. So if you're someone who enjoys the PvP or want to get into it, it's really fun to just... Yeah, I definitely play the game first, though. A lot of people ask me, like, like I don't think you should start, like, optimizing your build and shit until... Like, you've beaten the game once, like, an, like a noob. Like, I, we've all been that noob playing through the game, you know? Helps you. It really does. Fallen Angel. Oh, of course. I know, I did a lot of hosting streams recently. It's fun, too, as well, just to fight all the invaders that come at us. Oh, what the... What the fuck? Who's the best Souls tuber? Is your opinion like that? I enjoy watching the most. Ah, uh, I mean, you guys obviously know I watch Lost a lot. I watch, uh, I watch Fighter, but I mostly like I preferred like talking with Fighter and watching his streams. I'm not like a huge heavy edit kind of guy. I like the gameplay more, I guess. 
What are you throwing shit? They're not even over there. That's me over there. Um, I like I am Amish. It's a very small channel. He actually is very, very chill. But there's a lot of like streamers that have like not a ton of subs that I could definitely recommend. Maybe I'll do some streams with them too. Okay, he's just fog walling. Uh, I mean, the giant seed isn't that bad. If, if they use it, just, you just get away from the PvE for like 40 seconds and it stops. I don't really mind it. They just waste time. Cody, yeah, I know. I kind of expected that when I couldn't find them. I was like, oh, they're probably up by the fog wall. Uh, limit breakers? Yeah, they don't they don't upload a lot though. So I guess it really depends on what kind of content you guys are looking for. Like if you're someone who's like uploading pretty consistently still. I guess there's not a ton of them. I am Amish is chill though. He, he doesn't he uploads pretty frequently, you know. And is he's got a he's got a nice voice. He's chill. Uh, I know there's other Twitch streamers that play the game a lot. I'm not sure how often they use their YouTube. It's like Saint Riot. He he streams daily. That I see, uh, Pincognito. Another dude that streams pretty daily. They're all on Twitch though. Um, I mean, I've done all the bosses no hit. I've never done the entire game no hit because I don't run through it a lot, I should say. Helios. This is interesting. I think I actually fought you last night testing a build. <laughs> Good fight, Helios. Hey, Kenny, thank you, man. I appreciate the love, dude. Yeah, definitely not. Like, a lot of people are kind of surprised at the player count for Dark Souls 3 because it's still pretty damn high for, like, a almost four-year-old game, technically. But it's because there's no, there's no other PvP that the people that enjoy this can go jump to, which makes sense. I mean, we all have our types of games we enjoy. For Honor, I guess, kind of similar. Not going to say it's not. It's pretty similar, but it, it lacks the depth that I think Dark Souls does. Four years might be a long time. It's true, though. Actually, I was having this conversation with some viewers uh, in Lost Stream before. Uh, just the longer you're alive, the quicker time passes because time is relative to your time alive, right? So I've noticed that for sure. You used to feel like eternity when you were like in elementary school because you've only lived like seven of those. But now I've lived like 25 of those, you know, so in turn, <laughs> time doesn't seem quite as long. Yeah, Sekiro, it would have been bad with PvP though. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known how they would have done that. I turned 25 last September. I'll be 26 this year, actually. Wait, Chase is four times? No, no, I said one year. Like one year. <laughs> I have not 100. <laughs> uh, no, it's 24. I'm 25 now. Did I just skip 24? I hope not. Shit, that would suck. <laughs> Why did I do that? I need the eye ring. Where are you, boys? If I was 100, I'm the most skilled old man you've ever seen. <laughs> Hello there. Except at hide and go seek. I am actually terrible at hide and go seek in games. But I'm good at it IRL. Boomer tries. What is the I always forget. We use boomer as such a meme right now, but there's a there's a year for baby boomers, and it's I'm pretty sure my grandparents age group for baby boomers. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Is it the eighties? It can't be the eighties. Yeah, 1945. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. It was after the World War, I believe. Everybody was just celebrating, just banging their wives when they got home. <laughs> just babies, babies everywhere. Okay, well, I'm trying to figure out where... Um, I mean, you could, you can obviously parry with a curved sword, but based on like the latency of the game, which is like you don't often connect with people in your general area, 
I find. It's never perfect. Sometimes it is. Then you could pull it off, but it's not the safest. You know, I, the small shields, I'd say, are probably the best go-to. This is the third dude in a row that's just, like, hiding, bro. What happened? He's even got a blue. How are both you and the blue not doing anything? I'm very disturbed. Do you see my I feel like my character name isn't even known. I kinda I started changing my character name so everybody doesn't know my character name. Like bruh. Oh whatever. I don't even care at this point. I'll have time to regen my HP by the time I find this dude. He's gonna get a second blue and then fight me, maybe. Fam. I am not giving out this time. It's the third hide and go seek I've, I would have had to have left. Oh, I don't change the name, I just make a new character. Yeah, just different character. You can't change your character name, sadly. They should have let that though, like, what the hell? So, I'll say, I guess, yeah, I was thinking about reallocation and why you can't change the sex. It's mostly because of the NPCs, probably. They all change according to what you choose, so that would change a lot in-game. The Chongster, oh god. <laughs> Becker, alright. I cannot, I cannot believe, I almost rolled off there. Wow, that would have hurt. A seed that, you know, I don't even care. Just where are you, fam? <laughs> 56 boys. Damn. What's the highest you can get in game? It's like 59 point almost like it's 60 from what I remember. Oh, that's right. Why was that sitting? And why there? What is going on with this guy's world? Something's funky. The fuck? I'll let them, yeah, now that the seed's gone, I'll let them heal me, but like, what? There is a fucking blue in the world. <laughs> and they haven't done anything. I know, but like, it's weird because I think he has a blue summon. Or two blue summons, even. So, like, fam, what? I'm gonna start just attacking everything. You commit to hiding, I commit to finding. Does he have this elevator? No, he doesn't even have the elevator. Like, what are you doing, and where are you doing it? This seems like a lot. There's really that many chandeliers there. <laughs> or whatever. Oh, finally! Some indication. Yeah, you could be it. Wait, that could have been. Whatever, I'm gonna run towards the dragon anyway. Candle, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's not just a candle. The candle sits on those. Let's have another name. Candelabra. Candelabra. Okay, there we go. That sounds, that sounds right, actually. Fucking crap. I said chandelier. A oh, candelier. I said chandelier. These guys would be triggered if they ran this way, right? To some degree, they would have moved, so. We're narrowing, ah! You made a mistake. You're fighting, yes.
That one health tick. I mean, I'm proud of you boys. You hid for a long time. Hello. And now it's gonna be a slaughter for wasting my time. All that hide and go seek. And this is what you yield me. You give me this as my final battle, Fluffy. Alright, Fluffy. You move it around too much, so we're gonna have to bait you with the mace. Let's go. Okay, you know what? I need something real fast. Poke! Poke, 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 poke. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Fluffy ain't bad. No, I don't know. There's just like a key component to being passive that makes you look a lot better. Like if you just did dodge and focus on that, then... Obviously, it's going to be hard to hit them, but once you hit them once, that if yeah, that's really the judgment. If you hit a person once and they continue to get hit by you during the rolls after, they've just been, like, panic rolling and being scared. Red ganker. Damn. <laughs> Shit, dude. Weapon showcase. Bare fists. Actually decent, question mark. No. <laughs> That would be the most hilarious title. <laughs> ah, we got Senpai 2.0. I dig it, dude. Do you have the shortcut unlocked? Or yeah, you do. Sweet. There we go. I'm kind of liking the curved greatsword. Does that seem like it's above me? Griselda. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Imagine if Chase had three phantoms, two summoned reds against one viewer. Yeah, like <laughs> like the people that watch me do like the hosting. Yeah, you guys gotta survive the 1v5. It's your turn. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> okay, that might make your fist usable. <laughs> That'd be like the only way. Yeah, yeah, you can always buff all fist. No, I guess not all fist weapons. The ones that are buffable though. Cestus is a buffable weapon. Usually, if it can be elementally infused, it can be buffed. Hello? It's Sorig, my lad! Hello, Sorig! We're not even gonna get a chance to fight soon, so I'm just gonna be one, one, one in and out. No? I don't get one bump? No! No! Sorig! Damn it. I didn't get my bum chat. That would have been way cooler. They could have done a lot more. I mean, Dark Souls is great, don't get me wrong, but little animation changes like that for certain weapons would have been sweet. Like, buff your fist, punch them together, kind of, you know? That'd be cool. I mean, the running bundle buff is different. Look at it. It looks sick. <laughs> like, it completely puts the sword behind you. So, like, they added that in. Yeah, scythe backstabs would have been uh, a nice thing. That would have been uh, a little bit decent. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't do that. Yeah, you know, I guess we won't really know about Elden Ring until we get gameplay, right? I've heard it's supposed to be showed in like a Taiwan Game Fest thing in February. That's what I've been seeing. So, if so, sweet. That's not too long away, you know, for us to get a little bit of questions answered. That'd be cool. <laughs> wait, wait. Dark Souls 2 parry mechanic is in like... You like how long they sat there, or just how the parry worked? Uh, honestly, I think a scythe backstab would have been just like, if you're right behind them, you just put the scythe right near the nape of their neck, like from behind, and just slice. Wouldn't have been that hard, because, I mean, some of the backstabs are like, it sucks you into an animation, and then you just slap them with a the sword, you know? That one would have been like a suck where the sword goes up towards them, and then when it's in the animation, they just like slice it. But it would have looked pretty cool. But, like, an execution. I guess so, yeah. I mean, different... I mean, 
technically, like, the Ultra Greatsword isn't a backstab, it's like a back slap. <laughs> the only ones that have, like, backstabs are, like, rapiers, straight swords, like, great swords. I think all Ultra Classes, Great Hammers, things like that, all slap the back, so they already have, like, an execution that's different. Could've just added something else. Hmm, okay, so they have that unlocked. The big slap, yeah, it's true. Even they, they have like a couple different Hornet Ring reposts, right? Like the dagger and claymore and stuff goes into them and then you thrust them to the floor with the ultras and stuff. It's like bang, bang, and then bang. It's like a third slap. With an unarmed backstab? I mean, it's the same as a fist backstab, the unarmed ones. It's like a, it's like a double punch. So I mean they have more than one type. They could have just added a scythe one. I don't I don't know why they didn't do that, to be honest. Probably wouldn't have been that difficult. Where, oh where, oh where is the he host? I swear. If someone makes a mod with a map, I'll be the happiest guy alive. <laughs> I need a map. Yeah, they also, I mean, they said that, like, from what I've read from Elden Ring anyway, they, they have way more elements into it to make it more unique, but, again, no con like no confirmation on the PvP, so even if the game has that, it's it's going to be, like, popular and then die down if it doesn't have an online. Like, games just need an online now. The people don't get satisfaction from playing the same PvE over and over again, which makes sense. I mean, PvP is always different. You're always fighting a different player, you know? It's always kind of different. Unless he's in the church, I'll give that one last check before I go. Can't tell. That seems like it's outside and down. Aha! Hello, Imperios. Hello. I, I, I welcome you. Really? People are such scum, aren't they? <laughs> oh, damn, dude. I'm like... I'm just in here saying my nice hellos. This man's first first thought process. <laughs> Let's go around and get a nice backstab. Oh my god, you are laggy. What am I stuck on? <laughs> There's something here that wasn't letting me walk back. I'm very intrigued by that. Of course. <laughs> okay, since I'm just using this, let's just buff it up. And make sure I'm full. Hey, Imperios. <laughs> this thing does good guard break damage. Well, see you later. Now I can play around with you. And he wants nothing to do with playing around with me. Alright. I will bare fist kick your ass then. <laughs> Get your ass handed to you by a teeny tiny little girl. That is a cute. <laughs> God. <laughs> Chase, I farted. Oh no. May the gods be with whoever's around you. Uh, I mean, yeah, Wargo, we have that, though, kind of. I mean, the PvP is already a reward in it of itself. I love the PvP, but I can see what you mean to get, like, the people to do it. Dark Souls has that, though. It has its covenant reward system. But yeah, I find PvP to be its own reward. I don't need anything else. Ember is one... <laughs> this guy's gonna give me an Ember, watch. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Although, uh, one thing I do want to say, though, I hope if Elden Ring does have multiplayer, like, I love how hard invasions are, don't get me wrong, but, like, 
it definitely detours a lot of people from doing it because you get such disadvantages as an invader you know like they can resummon you get half the estus like i can understand why people get frustrated trying to invade <laughs> i get a lot of things on like what they, they're doing wrong and stuff it's not that it's just like things are against you man like it's not an easy thing to do especially if you're new to pvp all right mr sellsword I just want to get rid of his Lloyd sword ring. There we go. The source of his power. Good fight, sir. Black Dragon? Honestly, man, like, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, the best place to start PvP. Maybe, like, Arena's a good place, honestly. Like, there's, there's a lot of people in there that are very good, but there's some that aren't. So it's it's like a good in between. Invasions can you can find new players too, just like you. But again, they'll probably have teammates, so it's tough. It is tough to start. Finding a group of people that PvP to practice with would be nice. Or just try invasions and just die tons and tons of times. But yeah, invasions are definitely harder. I prefer dual arena. Yeah, a lot of people do, man. It makes sense. Like there's no there's no bullshit of you get vestiged in the back of the head and you're just like fuck. <laughs> Now I'm dead. Like, obviously, Arena is, is a little bit safer for that. But yeah, yeah, definitely dueling is, is a lot a better place to start. You'll understand, like, the spacing of the weapons. So, like, when you're fighting a greatsword, you know, you'll get used to where you have to stand to dodge it. Or when you have to roll. Invasions are more, oh shit. <laughs> There's three of them chasing me. What do I do? <laughs> But there's also other ways to invade, you know? You, you, you should really always use the PvE. Like, I don't sometimes, because I'm trying to make highlight clips, you know? I'm trying to get, like, really good at being surrounded, but that's, like, a whole other step. Like, using the air, area to your advantage is a huge part of invading. It helps a lot. Yeah, 2v1 is fine. Like, once you're comfortable with that, invading's okay. But yeah, 3v1 is where it gets really difficult. 4v1 is like, damn, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. <laughs> Um, oh, full, not a full owl, but interesting enough. Hello, Jeeks. Hello, brother. You are buff as shit. You look like a mini boss. What have I not used yet today, boys? Um, I haven't dual wielded at all. Let's try that. It's gonna be hard to get in close to this big hunk of man meat. I don't wanna backstab. <laughs> I think that combo, 787, okay, now here's my test. I wanna see if the backstab actually, this is kind of a cooler place to fight anyway. If the backstab does better damage, it might actually. Shit, it's really hard to get a backstab on that weapon. Especially with this weapon. Damn it. Damn it, no, I don't want him to die. I want to know if the combo is better. Damn! And I need to keep buffing too. <clears throat> Give me your bum. Just do it. It won't hurt that bad. Give me your bum. <laughs> ah! I need to know. These are test informations that we have. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, he's very keen on not being backstabbed, so sadly. Oh, well, now I'll never know his health was too low. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? I think the combo does more damage or the backstab? <laughs> Damn it. I'll test that on my own, but I think the combo probably does more. Combo is definitely safer. But, like, if I roll behind someone, I'm just always wondering, like, should I just <laughs> do the combo, you know? I know, you just hit the same button you open the menu with. A lot of people don't know that. 
They think you have to do this. No, you just hit menu from wherever you are in the menu. It'll shut it completely. Same. <laughs> you can get my bum, but only once you won't get your information. Yes, that's, that's what that felt like. <laughs> Yeah, I think the combo probably does more damage. Uh, it's just a mod for the game original name. So if you're playing on PC, just Google Nexus Mods and Google Wex Dust. Uh, you'll find it. Uh, it is PC, yeah. This character is soul level 81. I actually just, I'm trying out decks at 80, sorry, 82. Let's see how it goes. Completely safe, by the way, if you guys want to know about that mod. It's it's safe. I've been using it for four months now. It's great. Um, why don't I use the S-Dock? I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. It doesn't it doesn't get better backstab damage. It has more range than a rapier, but yeah, I don't I don't just like <laughs> Yeah, it's not my favorite. It is very good, don't get me wrong. But I, I don't always like to start off with like the best weapons in an invasion. It's if they pull out their meta, I'll pull mine out. That's that's how I do it. If I'm fighting a dude with a great sword, you know, like I'll chill. What's your name? Itch boy. Man, I, I, I can't. Can you not? You don't want me to bow, bro? Fine, I won't bow then. You're gonna smack me in my face anyway. What's the point in bowing? You rude little fighter. Fighter's so rude. How do you like that? How do you like my, my punches to the face? Are they, are they waking you up yet? You like it? You feeling, feeling good about yourself now? Hitting that poor defenseless man as he spawns into the world, huh? How does it feel? How does it feel? <laughs> I've never seen someone get parried and hit the wall at the same time. Damn. That's a rip. <laughs> That's interesting. That's actually cool. I know, <laughs> cucked by the wall and buried. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's good. Interesting though. I guess the parry was so like precise with the wall that like I don't know, like the timing was insane. It hit both. I swatted his weapon into the maybe. <laughs> it looked pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done that before. See, three, three years in and we still doing shit we've not done. Gives you love even more for the game. Male. <laughs> Male. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, I forget. I know the, the critical modifiers for backstabs and repost are very different. Hello, male. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't plan on fighting straight sword target shield with uh, my curved great sword. That is just asking for death. If I get hit a couple times, you know, we'll go to the straight sword. Aha! How does it feel to miss your target shield parry? Nah, I knew you'd get that. That was typical. Wow, you're so slow. Oh my god, you're cute. <laughs> Target shield is a powerful enemy though, I must say. Enough of that. That's just relying too heavily on the insane parry frames. It's so BM in my opinion. <laughs> Jesus. I'll never use that stupid target shield. <laughs> It's crazy though, because you'll only ever parry like a, a great sword reactionary with that shield. That shield is so broken. <laughs> he tried to repost with the chaos dagger, I bet you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? It's tough. I'm, I'm like on the fence about that. I think Dark Souls could have been a lot better in terms of balance for slower weapons if. Certain weapons that didn't break your poise didn't give you that automatic two-hit. People ask me that all the time, how I would... Oh wow, this guy died anyway. 
how I would. Holy shit, shut the fuck up, that's so loud. Oh my god. But yeah, how, how I would balance a straight sword is because it doesn't do much poise damage, is a weapon that doesn't break your poise, doesn't guarantee a second hit. You know? So, straight swords wouldn't, rapiers wouldn't get two hits automatically, you know, then a great sword, it would. That would be totally fair. Yeah, that was so loud. My god, being right under that dragon is crazy. <laughs> Kenneth, uh, no, this is probably the only online mod you can do. Don't get the wrong idea. If you do any of the other mods, the, the game will ban you. This one is just created specifically for finding invasions, so it's, it's safe. Fuck boy, McGee. <laughs> Hello, brother. They're gonna be fun. Uh, a kill, yeah, but I mean, you already do that, and you get two R1s out of it. So you get at least less advantage than you already have right now, so. That was interesting on the latency there, buddy. Sir Katana, brother. Oh my god, it's Havel! Haha! <laughs> Let's see how your 2v2 goes with this, shall we? Alright, let's try the Wardens. We haven't really done that. Hey, hey, listen, listen, buddy, listen. You, I, it really throws me off because he's casting without the seed. <laughs> How do you get that lucky? Yes, Havel, kick his ass! Kick his booty! Goodbye, brother. <laughs> Good teamwork. Oh, you already run in the other direction, huh? You already gone. Oh, man. Where are you going? Back to the beginning. Kit. Kit. What's he wielding? He had something interesting, right? Now, you know what? Trying to cuck me from the corner. Why am I not surprised, little man? Okay. <laughs> oh, almost. Holy fuck, more McGee doing more damage than me by a lot, actually. What? That's intriguing, I have to say that. One. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> or did I just not heal from my earlier battle? <laughs> He's got those R1s down. Um, I mean, it's tough. You can't really make the ultra faster. It's kind of, it is, it is slow, but maybe, you know what? Maybe as soon as you start your attack with the ultra great sword, you get the hyper armor. I don't think a lot of people would complain about that because you, you would still have time to hit them and roll out. Like that's how slow it is. So maybe that. Have the hyper armor frame start a bit earlier on an ultra. It's kind of it sucks when you go to attack and you still get stunned. <laughs> yeah, as as end is that's why I don't I don't really need to ever refresh it. So I don't want to waste a an ash and well a heal. Plus, oh, oh that doo doo. Uh, plus, I just keep the simple Cestus on me, and it does its work. By the time I would need it, I feel like it would be good. Hello, boys. Hello, everyone. Konnichiwa, Black Knight. You're full on Black Knight. I love it. Yeah, I'm as well. Wait, what? Okay. 
I see it is gonkers. <laughs> he tried the combo and he still messed it up. It was cute though. The other one's gonna be right here. It's amazing how I can read you guys. <laughs> Come at me, boys. I've got a surprise that awaits you around this corner. Oops. That is not what I wanted. What? My attack. It was spelled. How dare you? Trying to pull something off here. I have tests that I want to do, and you guys are the, the makers of this test. Oh! That's not a combo if you don't do it right. <laughs> and I'm very thankful that it isn't. Oh, I can't lock on here. That's not good. Get this off my screen. There we go. Okay. I want to see if this combos. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> That was almost good. Almost. It's very hard to test something when you guys are both just fucking with me. Okay, nice pair. Okay. okay, fine. You're dying first. I will just kill you. Oh, it's Shadoza! I didn't even realize this was a brother. I had no idea. Interesting that that even hit me, but okay. Tell if the host died or if. Oh, yeah. Host died. Good fight, Ryuzaki. Ryuzaki. That's what I wanted, damn it. How do you roll? A <laughs> circle. <laughs> that was funny. I'm evil today. You're on the side of darkness, huh? I dig it, though. One day I gotta host when like a lot of bros are streaming and then just be the evil that is them. <laughs> yeah, I saw that Snapple. <laughs> you were stuck with all the fighters. And then also the invader. Whoa, some shit just went down over there. You see that boys? And am I coming to soul level 45? Damn, I guess I gotta make a new build, huh? I don't have any 45s on this anyway. Hello, boys. Hello. Death's Envoy. That's an edgy name. Well, let me just go take care of Blue Boy over here, and then we'll, we'll have a nice fight, me, you, and I. Ah, oh, my fingers be jumbling today. Ow. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. That was painful. Oh, dead. Oh, dead. GG. I didn't know there was. I didn't know they were right behind me. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that was the first L today. Oof. I'm just trying to see if the like the dagger swap works into the weapon art, which is why I keep doing that stupid shit, but. I will find out today for you. I feel like it may. Because the straight sword one works, so we'll see. Nah, I could have easily killed him had I not just been doing this at the beginning, but. I played it that way and that was my fault. King Nigel, thank you, sir. I appreciate the number one fan donation. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. What skills am I carrying over to World War Three? I think my parkour is my my number one skill. I don't think I could dodge a gun though, so that's that might not go too well. All right. Ah, Pepsi Lube. Hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> Surprise, mate! For all those ganks you've put me through in the past. That looked hilarious. Looked rather interesting. Oh god! What's happening? Murder is happening without me! Don't use my tactic against me! <laughs> Good fight, Pepsi. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna dodge roll the dart of the World War Three draft. Don't you know I'm Canadian? We don't draft. What am I, American? <laughs> Parry that draft. Get out of here. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of people that are already in there. I mean, I don't think they even need you to be honest. It's not even gonna be a World War though. Ugh. Can't hit what isn't there. <laughs> just you know, just send it in a hologram, dude. Just scare them. Yeah, you know, no one has a draft. Obviously, <laughs> it's a joke. Can you parry? <laughs> Someone just needs to make an Iron Man suit, and we're good. <laughs> then we're totally chilling. Uh, I think seeing Riot plays on PlayStation. There are a couple people that I've just never done anything with just because of the platform we play on. I know a lot of the people have kind of moved over the PC though because, I mean, it's it's more of an investment, but if you're making a YouTube channel and stuff, I think it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, there's not going to be foot soldiers. <laughs> I, I have always abided by this, that if the presidents want to fight, just fucking duke it out 1v1. I think that'd be great. I said that at the other stream when someone probably like asked what, what should be done. That's my input. <laughs> they have no balls if they just use the army v army. Come on world leaders, let's do this. Alright, what do we got? Whoa! <laughs> my man! You're running the wrong way. The battle's this way. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you even Oh, you got the you got the Weeaboo arts. I can dig that. Sir, that is an awesome. Um, come again, but I used a weapon art. I have never seen that be out traded. Oh. <laughs> I literally spun and got Okay, well, good fight. Ah, it happened. See, there's certain areas that just have the death ceiling so high. That guy literally died the second he rolled off. It was just, ah. Oh, yeah, that, that maybe for sure, dude. When I moved from PlayStation to PC, I spun the camera. And it's hard to say. The game also just feels more stable, like the world. It's, it's hard to explain unless you play it on PlayStation and then play it on PC. Like everything just feels sturdier. Like you're not, you're missing less. <laughs> Obscuring ring in World War Three. <laughs> That'd be pretty damn OP. Get yourself the Harry Potter robe. With a cloak of invisibility, you know. It's the frame rate, yeah, for sure. Don't get me wrong though, there are definitely some things that take some getting used to when you move from PlayStation to, uh, yeah, to PC is, is parrying is harder because there's double the frame, so you have to get it more exact in the frame timeline. Really anything that is like timing sensitive is a little bit easier on PlayStation. But then you also got to deal with that insane uh, phantom range because everybody's on Wi-Fi, so that's not enjoyable. <laughs> Overall, I just, I just much prefer PC. Not another one of these. Swear to God, I'm leaving if it's the same dude. I kicked his ass once. 
He doesn't he doesn't get a second attempt. That's me on Wi-Fi, yeah. <laughs> I mean it used to happen to me all the time. Uh I mean it doesn't PS PS4 objectively will have more lag issues because people use Wi-Fi. It will be better connection on something that is more likely connected to an Ethernet wire, like a PC, which usually is near the router, so. Yeah, see, like, that's what I mean. Like, not everyone's PlayStation in their bedroom is next to their router, whereas most times, where your router is, is going to be where your PC is, so. Um... <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny, though. <laughs> not gonna lie, I did buy one of those extremely long cords and do that to myself when I first started doing invasions and stuff. Oh, dude, this the Switch is the worst. What the hell, Nintendo? <laughs> How do you make a new generation console and it doesn't have Ethernet access? What? In the hell? Oh yeah, dude, of course. It, even if you have the strongest Wi-Fi, the problem with Wi-Fi is that it's not steady. So you're not getting a steady flow. Sometimes your bitrate will drop and heighten and that causes th the lag. It's it's just like a, a non-steady amount of data, right? So... But yeah, what the hell, Switch? <laughs> Yeah, the handheld mode is fine, but they could have made the dock have, like, an Ethernet cord, or maybe even, like, yeah, like, what the fuck, what the fuck? Or even have it on the handhelds, even. Yeah, it's just, you're, you're also uploading and receiving data at random increments, right? So sometimes it'll fluctuate, you'll go to download the data of, let's say, the person you're fighting, and it just craps out for, like, a second, and then you just, like, you see them lag, so... Same with them uploading though, so it's it's just worse on console, just a little bit. I mean, it still happens on PC. People play on laptops, people play on whatever. They're gonna use Wi-Fi, it happens, but. Also though, like if you plan on gaming and stuff for like your life, like you know you're going to have it as a hobby. I do recommend PC, it just looks good. Like really good graphic games are gonna look better. Like you're just gonna, you'll enjoy them more. Plus the new consoles coming out are going to be like probably like $500, $600 anyway. You can build like a pretty decent like gaming PC for like a thousand, like a little bit more. Not a streaming one, but like gaming. I fucked this up so many times last time, not this time. <laughs> yeah, but don't get, it, don't get it wrong, I love PS4 too because it has, it has really good exclusives, which is a, a whole other thing. They have the door open? They, they Yeah, they do. Just double the price, no big deal. But like, just wait, like if you saved up whatever you've saved up, just wait a little bit longer to get the better device, you know? That's what I meant. Guys, just waiting up on the dock. Yeah, the Switch is. I don't know. I don't even know what games are great on it, to be honest. I I, I have a Switch. I got it to play Pokemon and Smash Bros, but I, I rarely use it. Hello, Blue Dex. How are you, brother? Oh, I can't. I bow. That's weird. Yeah, that's literally all I got it for. Pokemon Smash Bros. Not a huge fan of like a lot of Nintendo games. Ah, uh, yes, when you're fighting an adept opponent, I love how the straight sword comes out. <laughs> Which is fair, everyone does it. I'll adapt to straight sword if you get me to half health. I have I have levels. This boss tier one, a slow sword. Oh shit, that's gonna be painful. <laughs> um, since you're enjoying that so much as a roll behind me technique. How about this then? Good fight, Blue Decks. <laughs> Why have you gone 80 plus 10 these days? I was debating, uh, well, here's what, here's my thinking for it. 
when I'm not streaming a kill yeah that that is probably best 80 plus 8 will get you great invasions but most of the time I'd say a good half of my invasions are viewers uh, that also like just look at my solo one stuff and just make their build around that so they can fight each other so most of the time people that I'm fighting will have plus 10 weapons anyway uh, but yeah honestly 80 80 plus like think of it this way 80 plus 8 you can invade down to 72 plus 6 so most people at 72 won't have a plus 6 weapon they're gonna have a plus 7 so ideally 80 plus 9 would be great you can invade down 80 plus 9 is probably honestly the way to go for balance invasion ranges and damage output but most of the people I fight have plus 10 weapons and I'm fighting them in the big city and stuff I would have been plus 9, but this character already had a plus 10 weapon, so... <laughs> There's that! <laughs> have I used the Pyromancy grab attack spell? <laughs> yeah, actually. Ah, I forget. I, I kind of want to direct you to a video where I landed it, like, so many times. Um, maybe... Maybe I called it the laggiest pyromancer or something like that. Like, I was fighting on a day where Steam did its update, and everyone was so laggy, but I somehow was just landing all the sacred flames. It's kind of nuts. I think it had... Oh, yeah, it did have a... You're right. It's... I used sacred fl flame, and this happened. I think you're right, dude. Man, you guys... You guys have been with me for so long on my YouTube journey because... <laughs> I think... I'm gonna search it for you. Is that? Yeah, here, I'll, I'll link it to you. Because it's so funny. I cannot believe I landed it that much, but this was it, I believe. If you're looking for it. <laughs> that made me laugh, <laughs> yeah. I asked chat what to title it, and that's the title they threw at me, so. It's pretty fucking funny. Oh, a Drake Blood. Uh... Oh, hello, Six! Hello! Let's do it, brother. You and me and Zubumufu. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Guess I'm better with a curved sword than I thought. I like the blue, okay? <laughs> uh, Nisedna, I see you, so maybe just refresh the video. Sometimes YouTube is weird. I don't know if you can hear me say that anyway. If your video is frozen. I recommend I haven't watched any Antis, to be completely honest. I watch a lot of, like, those etchy comedy animes, but... Never straight hentai. It doesn't really, it's not as good, I find. Except for that, like, horrible one that I happened upon when I was younger. Scary. <laughs> Give me the sauce. What's the thumbnail? Oh, that one. Was that from Samurai? I forget what this, the name of the hentai was. It's scary, dude. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> Aww. I just actually, I literally watched the last episode of One Punch Man Season 2 today. <laughs> Probably like an hour before I streamed. Pretty good, pretty good. I actually want to watch that, dude. The Dragon Ball fan service anime is pretty good. I watched up until, like, Super Saiyan 4 Goku was fighting himself, I think. That's what I got to. I have watched Demon Slayer, yeah. I think I've watched most of the, I would say, like, top hit animes of the newest year, most likely. Like, I've watched Demon Slayer. I'm up to date on Black Clover, because I, I really enjoyed that. Um, what else did I watch a lot of? I haven't watched Fire Force, and... Frig, I'm blanking on a few others that I've watched. Hello? Almost! You thought, huh? You thought. <laughs> Wait, was that was the bowman Shadoza? 
Definitely not worth the trade. Oh! Scary, scary. All right, Shadoozer. <laughs> I'm abusing this. Oh, damn. This be pretty scary. Oh, Seagulf invaded, okay. Oh no! He died alone with me last time. I'm coming, brother. This time I will not let you perish. It shall not be you who dies this time, Seagulf. Damn, that hurt. Ah, uh, swatted away from the butt, like a common normie. Get him, Seagull. Push him in there. Poke him like they life mean nothing. Get him. Good job. <laughs> Coming for that ass, brother. It's gonna be a damaging ass grabbing. <laughs> this this thing's in my way. Someone please remove it. Oh Shadoza, you surviving like a great H oh shit. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was coming! The turn and burn! Alright, now we apply our force of doom. Oh, we got the double heal. Oh, that was beautiful! <laughs> Good fight, brother. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That was actually a really good fight. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thoughts on the old wolf curve sword uh, I've been using? It's it's really good as a quality weapon, actually. I always forget to put that on my builds, because there's like a weight class that I go to, and I always forget curve great swords of weight. Ah, uh, tips for champion Gundir. I find fighting him from up close a lot easier. Most of his moves are parryable once you actually get the timing down that helped me a lot uh if you ever want to like see what i have to say about most bosses i have a really old guide on how to fight them untouched i'm younger so don't mind my voice and yeah i think i, I did i gave decent tips on it and watching what i do might help you there goes my game daily crash rip <laughs> other games i'm currently into um i played this i played the new call of duty when it came out I, did, I got tired of it kind of fast, though, because it's pretty similar to all the other Call of Duties, right? Um, I play Fortnite with a few of my friends that are very into it, and um, storyline games I'm always looking to see. Like, I played Sekiro when it came out, I played, like, all the Telltale series, I played Until Dawn. Some horror games are cool, I played Resident Evil. Caught his poo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, was, it wasn't the best. Oh, yeah, like the blessed crit one, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, a, I don't know, I played Apex as well. Out of the two, I do prefer Fortnite just because the, the building is like a new mechanic. I kind of love it, like, but yeah, right now it's not in a good state. They made, they made Fortnite too casual friendly. They made like all the walls sprayable right through like in a millisecond sometimes. Like they, they kind of nerfed all the things that gave you a skill gap because they don't want kids complaining. So maybe when it dies down in popularity, it'll get good again. There we go. Ew, Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, I mostly like COD for zombies, and the newest one didn't have that. So, 
Yeah, I kind of didn't play it for long. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I also had a bad mic, to be fair. It's like, old bad mics don't, like, create, I mean, don't. They don't catch as much bass in people's voice, I find, so that attested to that. But yes, my voice was probably a lot higher back then, too. Zombies is what dude it is. Oh, Abe the Worthy. One. You look like I can roll catch you. Two. Three. Four. Oh, you learned. But then I get your bone. <laughs> Good fight. <laughs> That's a rip. <laughs> yeah, I thought he had a teammate, to be honest, but... Oh yeah, sure, guys. Ah, this is more of like a test. I'm liking it, though. I haven't made a, a soul level 80 dex in a long time. But it allows me to be more tanky, even though my damage isn't quite as insane as like an elemental infused build would be at this level. It's pretty close, though, with some weapons that I've chosen. So it's pretty good. Chase the roll. <laughs> I try to not do that. To change his name to Kanji. I feel like a lot more people would block me. They'd think I'm from China or Japan. <laughs> They'd be like, that's how he was backstabbing me. All that lag. <laughs> I swear. I kind of want to have a character with a name like that and see how it goes. To be fair, <laughs> I had I had never seen an invisible invader. It was a true statement. <laughs> it wasn't a lie. Is stream dying? Is it? Uh, Lost tells me YouTube has been having problems. I mean, I didn't stream yesterday, so it looks good on my end, but I don't know. Ow! What the? F <laughs> Bruh, I didn't know there was an onion underneath me. Hello, Mr. Onion. He's an onion, doing his onion things in his onion life. With his onion wife, chugging Estes like an onion would. Don't chug again. Damn it. Damn it, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> nice. Hey, I like to call that the old reverse one, two in the poo poo. Nice. <laughs> You're such a coward. Is my game gonna crash? Please don't crash right now. I've never had this before. Really? What the? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is a hard crash. I got a task manager close this shit. I can't even see the process of Dark Souls running right now. That sucks. Damn, dude. <laughs> that was straight doo-doo right there, man. I'm not I'm not very happy with that. <laughs> Those were such beautiful backstabs. <laughs> That's weird, dude. What the Thank fuck? You. PC and oh man, my task manager, I my my CPU. Oh, what the fuck? My CPU and my GPU don't even hit fifty percent when I play this game. They don't even hit like three. 
Actually, I kind of would bring it up to see. Let's see. When I'm running, streaming, and recording all at the same time, my CPU is at 29, my memory is at 30, my network disk 0 to GPU 40. Yeah. Not even close. The onion had fucking crash powers of God, I guess. Yeah, sadly, so level 80 with this health isn't the best. Name invalid. I'd like I'd like a little more health, but tears of denial make up for it. I'm wearing the life ring too. So this, this is also something that I tested, by the way, guys. In case you are you know looking for some some sweaty info, not not a ton, but it's kind of nice. Um, so if you're looking to gauge whether you want to use Havels or life ring, there's this. So if you want to use the Havels, you'll get obviously you'll get similar HP. I tried it. So if I had Havels on right now. I would, ha I would take the 6 points out of my Vitality, put it into Vigor, my Vigor would be roughly 1280-ish. 1280? 1280? I think 1285 is what it would be. Uh, and I would have more, a little bit better weight load, I believe, so my poise would be a bit better. But my natural defense would be lower because I took those 6 points out of Vitality, so my natural defense goes down. Probably like 12, 12, 13, whatever. So there's that. But if I wear Life Ring, I get roughly the same HP. But with those stat points, I get to put them in Vitality, and I get the boosted natural defense, and I can wear pretty much the same armor. So, depending on what soul level you're at, it really helps. And I actually get a little bit more HP this way. When I'm unembered, I believe it's like 1311, because Life Ring plus 3 just does that. <laughs> Yeah, she does it. Yeah, for sure. Like, life just... It, it is a pretty... Mm, like, it depends on if you want armor or not, right? Like, if you want poise. Or, or, yeah. Or you can go with that fucking full health stat. Terrible poise. But enough to, like, have decent absorption. I do that too sometimes. And Matthew, thank you, dude. I didn't see the F donation. Because <laughs> my computer froze. <laughs> this is weird. There we go. Why oh, is everyone saying Havels mean no health at lower levels? You mean if, like, you're a Havel? Yeah, if you're a Havel, like, at super low level, you're not going to have HP because you need all that vitality, but... <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. I found it... I try to find a balance between the two rings. I do enjoy my HP level, though, at, like, 1300. I, yeah, it's 1311. 14 is my goal, but, like, at lower levels, you could only do so much to get it to that and sacrifice, so... If I have it, no, I have it on my S SD, SSD, sorry. My HDD would, would cause a little bit more, like, frame drops, I find. If Logan survive. All right, Logan. Damn, dude. That is interesting. Wait. Wait. He's, he's, he's the host and not a summon? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I honestly thought that was a summon for some reason. In my mind. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn, Logan, I'm sorry. Didn't expect that, to be honest. <laughs> that Dark Souls 1 reference was tight. I've actually been debating that, like, a lot of people ask me for, like, really info on most things, so it'd be cool to make, uh, you know, like, a be from beginner's guide to getting good. <laughs> I don't know if I'd use that meme, but I think it would be, it'd be a lot of videos, though. There's so much information, to be honest. Hello there, brother. I sense more people. Ah, uh, my senses have rarely let me down. Yeah, that's always great. <laughs> um, I don't know if you want to help out here, but... <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Eliza, what were you doing while your mans was getting smacked, dude? <laughs> Just straight going in.
Like Katana has been carrying them for far too long. Oh. Oh, and he's laggy, okay. It was hard to tell, it seemed like my hits were connecting rather well. But then it happened and it's okay. What's your plan here, Stan? Buddy, that's not the ideal way here. Oh God. Give me the bum. Thank you, my boy, where are you from? You guys both die in the same place. Good fight. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, my shoulder was said. Feel the West does suffer. Oh, true. Maybe. Maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I should rest at the hotel. But I feel like the West does suffer from memory leak accumulation. Maybe. I mean, everybody that uses the Wexta skin crashes, so. Maybe. I could try that. Maybe I'll try to sit after everyone, see if that does anything different. I'd have to test it in another stream, though, because I usually don't crash twice in a stream. <laughs> I still haven't crashed. I like how it's something that's, like, inevitable for the people using it. Or have you never crashed those? Is that what you mean? Yours doesn't, Hugo. Weird. Mine lost. Maybe because we stream also. I don't know if that would do anything. Lost me, fighter. Everyone that uses it tells me their game has crashed. But I guess all of us do put more of a load on the PC. So it's weird. Oh, it's the twin peens. Hey, dude. Let's see. Double the peens, double the fun, apparently. Ow. That's misleading. Gotta judge that better next time while on a stair set. And then there's that. Okay, so latency with these things makes them very formidable and very scary. I want to honor fight him because he's doing well. You know, he could actually pull off the win. But he's also got a blue. And then the TV is also here. Shit. Hell, I guess we can continue on our honor fight later. You kill that, I'll kill the blue. Because he's gonna come fucking ramboing in. Yep. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> blue be doo be doo. Da -da -da Dynamax! I've been enjoying my Curve Greatsword R1 spam lately. Wow. Okay, there we go. Well, nice, bro. We can continue. You're doing well, although I don't really feel like fighting those on stairs. This thing is gonna follow us, dude, no matter where we go. You will not hit me with that on flat ground. I do apologize, but. I did forewarn you. <laughs> Aaron KTC. Aaron. Um. There's no way we're gonna get an honor fight. He's got another blue. There's a, another invader behind me. Get him, blue! Oh, he actually did! I feel so refreshed for that blue. Go kill that thing. 
I'll kill this thing. Hey. 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 This is rude. Alright, fine. That's how you want it. You've chosen gank. <laughs> Which means you have chosen death. I know you're not yet aware of it, but believe me. Blue has also chosen death. All right. Well then. Time for the bum. Ow! Brother. <laughs> Spear in the rear. Come over here, little Casey. At least, yeah, I made it so that wouldn't even. There we go. Good fight, boys. <laughs> non meta laugh. Hello, brother. I'm also, I guess, non meta right here. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm good. Let's choke my coffee. Why, brother? Why? Wait, which one? Were you the lap? You didn't die. Chase using jump attack? Yeah, curved greatswords get a R1 to jumping attack. I always use that. But I don't I don't use curved greatswords a lot, so you probably don't see me do it. <laughs> yeah, the Murakuma is pretty strong, man. All curved greatswords kind of are for what they are. And the fact that they get a heavy out of it, it's pretty crazy. The Forlorn Wanderer. Hmm. Okay. I'm told there's like a character mule named the Wanderer, and that's why there's so many of them. I wonder if that's the case when I fight all these guys. All right, ZF Gamer, have a good night, dude. While I try to find these guys. <laughs> the best foods. And nah, pizza. I don't know. Pizza's just the best food, man. It's so good. Pizza burgers, all the worst things for you. Well, I guess not the worst, but candy. Yes, candy is also great. Baconator is, I don't know. McDonald's is like, I'll get something from there because I, I order a coffee and I'm just like, well, for my order to not cost two more dollars, it's gotta cost $12 on Uber Eats, so. <laughs> Hello, Liamsley, how are you, man? Um, where is this dude? Okay, if he's not a pure belief. I do like healthy food sometimes if it's cooked well. <laughs> I do have to say. Hello, forlorn wanderer. I made my way up here. Ah, oh, MK Harvey's is pretty damn good. Oh my god, an ultra! This is gonna be fun. If anybody has the courage to use an ultra, they're decent at the pay pay pay. Okay, that's fair. Alright, so when we get to half health, that's when the meta comes out, huh? Okay. Fair. Just surprise me like that. We're having a nice, a, a nice old ultra battle, and then you come in here with your godlike axes of doom. <laughs> and you brought you brought it upon yourself, sir. You played. <laughs> Pull that. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. Uh, I get it. But, like, both of us can do it, so it's not like a huge difference. Ah, uh, yeah, sadly. The ones that aren't up there are YouTube's butt. But I think everything's okay now. I have the recent streams saved on from the new 
uh, YouTube create whatever creative mode fucking creator studio whatever you want to call it changes its name all the time ah hello I've been using this too much let's go crow quills I never use crow quills yeah you weren't expecting the kunai to the face now were you so you better haul that ass back there big boy eat it eat all the kunai no no wow aren't you just lame oh this is so easy parries Ah, a great sword. Yes, that will be better. Definitely. <laughs> it's like a fish battle, but like we're both. Sure. Oh yeah, this thing only has the weapon art when I'm like. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all, brother. Better run away and heal. You're getting now under half. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. I don't need it. Let's go morning star. Ow. Now I need it. Q bum, where you from, cuz? Cut off into the boss. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself, Jimmy. So much to live for, Jimmy. <laughs> You're a scurry one, aren't you? We're just gonna disable your life source really quick. Now we're just gonna stay right on you with a good old fashioned dagger. <laughs> Until the panic sets in to fight them. If I could use the Dark Souls often to have in real life, um I mean some of the cool unique DLC ones would be sweet. Just own the paired knight ultras, no big deal. <laughs> I'm not sure it's Zognarig. The Morning Star actually does better on dexterity builds than the mace, so has the same perseverance. Whatever. <laughs> it's it got a dagger move set. It's a dagger. <laughs> In the morning, yeah, really every weapon except for two-handed ultra great swords, just R ones and R twos, and great hammers can be parried, and then the mace. Everything else in the game can be parried: running attacks, rolling attacks, really everything. I've lived long enough to know this corner is cuck central. I'll use the morning star more. It doesn't get a ton of love. You're right. Yeah, it's pretty huge. The Corvian knife, yeah. So he has run this way, okay. Uh, James probably till around like 8.30. I always stream like around three hours. They've all gone here, but at the same time, those little dragon fellows have not been moved. Hmm. Ah, hello there, Eto. Wow, my soul level 60 build is wearing that uh, helmet because it, it had the poise needed, but it looks, it looks god awful. Oh my, I'm just gonna approach like that, I guess, <laughs> that's scary. Oh my god, the flickers, they don't end. Should I even attempt to backstab that? It's making me scared for the range that he has, because like he's really closer than it seems, because I'm receiving his data late. Oh 
Oh man. What? Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Good fucking. I wonder why that was happening. Um, I watched all the Star Wars movies very recently, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I like them a lot. I watched the older ones this year, though, too, so, like, I had to judge them based on that. Uh, not really. I mean, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1 are very, very limited in how much PvP is going on, so in terms of, like, streams and it being entertaining, 3 is definitely the best. Nova. That's new. I already had that ring on. Shit, okay. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I just put it on. <laughs> I'm lost. Where's my Bloodborne <laughs> PvP? Sadly, in like 2017, probably. I saw that Zognarag. What the hell? <laughs> I was half asleep. What did that warning say, actually? I need to check that. Hello, Christina. How are you? I woke up to like the alarm pinging on my phone, and I think it was about nuclear or something now that you mention it, but I was so asleep, I really didn't care. Hello, Tempest. Oh, you invaded me the other day, brother. I remember it. I remember it well. I think. Not sure, though. What's behind me? And how excruciating is it going to be when it hits me? Oh, it's just, it's just a straight sword. Oh, there's another invader here. Oh. Oh, but this is looking like a meta war. All right. Well, then, if we're going full on meta, let me get into my meta form. I transcend time and space with my rapier to your face. Good fight, brother. Hello there, shield wielder. My riposte, you are not stealing that. Was he hitting him through the riposte? GG. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was scary. Hey, hello, Andreas. Um, it's hard to say, Kata Jensen. I play like a roughly three hours a day when I'm streaming and stuff, like the PvP, and then I've been doing that since the beginning of like 2017. So 2018, 2019, like three years of that <laughs> has been like my channel. So, I mean, 2017 I did more like PvE things as well. I didn't just PvP, but 2018, 2019 were like all PvP. So at least two years of just strictly that. It does, but I have like two Steam accounts because my first one got banned for using the anti-cheat system when they had like a weird update and it flagged accounts. A lot of people got banned for it, so I don't use that one. Scrubber was there, always there. You have been, brother. You have. Through all our journeys, all the games that I've played. I've gone to like a couple anime conventions. They don't have a lot like where I live. Like Ottawa has some pretty tiny ones. I went to Toronto for Anime North. That's pretty cool. Hello there. 2020! Yes, me too, bro. We're still PvPing in 2020, dude. Our souls are eternal. I sense that you have a teammate that wants to plunge me, but... No, he just is gonna walk through the wall. 2020, everyone. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> I, I dig it. I like it. Those are some good throws, bro. Nice, nice. <laughs> Not bum enough. Out of FP, you are. Think about what you were doing, you must. And there's the blue summon leg. Ah. Oh. It will end soon, and then your boy will be in big danger. Damn it. Getting too good at that. 
Okay, I thought the summon lag would end, but now now I fear for my overall safety because he's gonna chime in at any given moment and it's going to hurt. All right, you go down there. <laughs> you, you do you are one like you're meant to, Katana Lad. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that refill on my Estus. Damn. Wait. Holy, brother. There's other things. You know, we got running R1s. We got heavies. No, just R1. Just R1 to clap them cheeks. All right. Well, here's a, his R2. Our, our and then comboed into a heavy to a jumping attack. See the mix-ups, my boy. You got this. You got this. No, you can do it. Where'd the host go, though? Boy, evacuated the premises. You little shit. That's not really fair. I can't I can't walk through his invisible wall, I don't think. I had to go all the way around. For me his like his bookshelf is still there. Oh actually, wait a second. He's not coming out. He just opened the shortcut. Hey, buddy. We're going to fight. Whether you want to or not. Good job. It's okay, because we can still kill you. Good fight, brother. Good fight. <laughs> that combo was evil as fuck. Yeah, it is pretty good, actually. I didn't think about that, but it's a lot of damage. It's all my stamina, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, man. I've been getting hit with Black Flame from far away. Uh, so if there's latency with that, it's very damaging. I've noticed that. It's been quite scary. Oh, Kato, dude, for sure. That's why I stream. Otherwise, I would just post videos. You know, I, I like chatting with you guys. Do I use Cheat Engine Mueller? What? Uh, there's been there's been builds that I have used Cheat Engine to make on PC when I redid my max soul level because I wasn't gonna actually do that on place. I did that on PlayStation originally, and then someone donated it for it on PC, and that would have taken too long to get that for the guy. So I did that. Um, it's I don't know. There's safe ways to do it. I don't know everything because you might get banned. So you could do that. I hear lots of people do that, but I also already have a lot of characters that I played through when I first got my PC. So I just need to reallocate a lot of time. I don't need anything. Hey! I'm not ready yet though. You wait a second. Be patient, brother. Be patient. Alright, we good. Hello. Just a crossbow. That's interesting. And of course there's a mage, but that's okay. You know, two mages all their own. Anyway, get that out of the way. <laughs> Gotta love the... I love the fists. That's actually amazing. I have to congratulate you. That's not a combo, sadly. That's why I didn't do the full thing. Oh, good fight, Crazy Susan. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's there's definitely still so much like unlocked potential because whenever the community figured out how to weapon swap, like with the hard swapping in the menu, it unlocked combos that we figured out since, so there's probably still so many, you know. I haven't tried it with every combination, so. Recently I learned you can do like rapier into, you know, see, it's rapier into this, into jumping attack, you know, things like that. Or rapier into Murakumo, oh, what, where's my Murakuma? Oh, it's over here. 
rapier into Murakumo into jumping attack. That is supposed to be a jumping attack, but you know. No, rapier into split leaf isn't. I've tried I've tried lots, but the split leaf doesn't for some reason. <laughs> rapier into I've done that by accident, yeah that works. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Yeah, that works, Riggin. I do that one a lot. It also works with the straight sword. There's certain ones that you need certain weapons for, but it's pretty cool. I want to make a character just made on made focused purely on swaps. Like every time I attack, I have to swap. It'll make the invasion so much harder, but like the combos that I could pull off by practicing it would be pretty sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, you could do a fist to whatever weapon I believe. Yeah. <laughs> it just said to be fast. Rapier Delito? Yeah, that works. But just keep in mind, if you guys are doing this, uh, that it does use the stamina of the weapon you're changing to. So a lot of people will die trying because you're in, they're in like a horde of people and they go to pull out an ultra and they're out of stamina and they survive and it's, it's rough. You definitely have a better chance at winning invasions if you don't do this, but it does look fucking sick and it is fun, so... Yeah, for sure. You, if you ever come into my stream also, if you're new here, uh, just write hashtag build. And I always, sorry, usually I will have a link of Souls Planner to the build I'm using. If it's new, I always update it. If it's like an older build that I've used consistently, I might forget because it's pretty common. But that this one is new. I just made this, so. Uh, the Wex Dust one, Lightning? No, no, it's it's totally safe. All it does is it just searches for invasions for you on a broader scale than the Red Eye Orb. So, completely safe on that one. I already did that. My bad. Someone gonna plunge on me? Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> uh, but Lightning, if you're searching for it, uh, just Google Wex Dust and look for the link that has Nexus Mods as the source because that's where it's from. Asuna Ray? I mean, I like Asuna personally, but some people like different waifus, you know? Have I done a speedrun in the past in Dark Souls 3? I used to practice them, but I haven't done one, really. Whoa! Rude. Don't make me lightning clap them cheeks, Dragon Boy. Don't make me do it. I'm your... Mom Ebal. <laughs> Let's get trolling his friend or something. That's a funny name. I don't understand it, but hey, to each their own. Let's go with. I've, I've been having fun with the curve great sword. Don't test me, Dragon Boy. <laughs> I see that Murakumo in your hand, brother. You come over here with that. I'm gonna clap them cheeks so hard. What did I tell you about coming over here? <laughs> the goat is rude. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like the character of Kirito, especially in the base Sword Art Online, like the first season. Not a huge fan of like Alfheim. And then Gungeo was cool. I've watched Alicization. Also pretty good, man, honestly. It's lacking Asuna, but it's good. Did I? Yeah, I didn't roll. You're right. <laughs> but that's just... Did I? I don't think I did. No, I just hyper armored everything. Klein is the man. He is pretty chill, actually. He's like the bro character. I like how stuff. <laughs> not, not particularly. I don't like the character design. I mean, she tricked all of us. Not much, man. Not much. How are you? Also, I really hope this isn't the same team. This is camp in the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, he's... Oh my god. Are you serious? Can I get rid of tears somehow? If I drink this? Fuck yeah, I can. Move over game, chase coming through. High IQ plays.
I think you'll live. I think I made him start the boss fight. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Get in there and fight your fucking demons. Oh, uh, so good. Blindfolded. I, I definitely could have been someone like guiding me from beside me. Like I've had, I've seen those people do those blind runs where they just tell them where they're walking for sure. But alone, no. <laughs> I don't know if he's waiting to summon teammates or what. That's just the most. That spot is the most annoying spot for ganks to chill. It's just such a time-consuming area. You roll off by mistake. You're sitting there. You got to go all the way around. They can fog wall, like it's it's honestly not worth it there. Some other areas too are like that where they're just like right before wool near they can walk so far into the room that they just abuse it. Oh what am I doing? Should do it with lost <laughs> Yeah, but we don't live like I it would be better to have someone in real time because there's always latency over like most calls and stuff. Uh, infused by something. Did I change my location? No, no, no. I mean, you mean like where I live? No, I haven't moved. I'm still here. Hello, Megumin. Yes. Weeaboo art. I love it. I want to, you know what I really do want to dabble in though, boys, that I really haven't? Fast rolling. Like, I wonder how great it is to be able to do that. Like, if I mastered the distancing between, like, back steps of the fast roll, I feel like it might be really good. Fight Megumin. But at the same time, is there any way to fast roll with, like, big weapons, like a Black Knight Greatsword, Great Axe, you know? Like, I wonder what I would need to do that. It's okay, she lives. Fast roll build, embrace. Right? I do want to try. Because at the same time, you run faster with a fast roll, correct? I'll definitely die more that stream because like I'm gonna have to get used to the rolling distance and stuff. Yeah. You run the same speed? I I don't know though, because I'm pretty sure speedrunners and everybody takes off their armor to run faster when they're doing it, right? Under 30%? Or is it just that your stamina oh your stamina regens quicker? It's just that. Okay, I was thinking that. Uh, if I ran faster, it'd be kind of nice for pivots too. Like I could just run up to them a little bit faster. But I feel like I feel like you do run faster though, because the roll is faster. If you're simultaneously rolling with a mid roll build, you will cover more distance over the same amount of time with the fast roll. So I feel like they would make the running equivalent to that. I'd have to test though. They roll further, yeah, but it's in the same amount. Like if you roll spam, the time the fast roll would beat the mid roll somewhere, you know. Cause it still does cover a, a greater distance faster, so. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta test it. I mean, I feel like there's information on that, but I've never done it, so I don't know. Yeah, it's faster and further, so if the roll is, I imagine they would change the pacing of the run. The run is faster, that's what I thought. It's probably not insanely faster, but I've, I've noticed people escape me doing that. Like, they get naked Ring of Favor run. That's... I've had people do that. And I couldn't... They, they were slowly gaining a gap on me, so... I think that is. There we go. Uh, the Pitchfork? Well, it depends on the build that I have. Right now, everything's sharp and fused because I'm a dexterity build, but... Kevin, exactly! Someone try. Are they up there and chilling? <laughs> All right, I'm coming around. No big deal. Oh, there's a blue. They can see the tears. Will he come this way? Yes, a brave blue. I love it. 
You're my favorite. Hello, Mr. Brave Blue. This way. Hello, behind you. Big boy, hello. Ring, ring, hello. This way. Hey, it's 2020 again. <laughs> we just fought, dude. You also... Yeah, you, you your build's the exact same. Nice. Nice. That was a worthwhile trade. Getting kind of better at the spacing of a curved greatsword. I was new at it at first. But I can trade with great swords because of my poise. Feels good. Ah, there's the rest of the gank. Alistair and Piola. Yes, Pyromancy. Give it all, boys. Give it all. You gotta give me your heat. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. No. Why is that a trade? <laughs> In what godforsaken world did that hit me? That wasn't even near me! <laughs> okay, well. This is how it be, then this is how it be. We're only pyroing, huh? Seems that way. Double the vestige, double the fun. Nice, nice. Good job. Oh yeah, great, 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 perfect. Good fight. <laughs> perfect. Double vestige cancer, good job. I didn't even know he was right behind me or I wouldn't have healed right then. <laughs> it's the cheese of the magic, man. Balance, dude. I actually can't believe that I got stunlocked through all that either. Do you think I would have been able to roll after the second vestige, but nope. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing a lot of uh, heathen spamming sorceries and vestige for a few days. Can you show them the way of the Lord? Yes, I should have right there, but I didn't expect them to actually time that so good. I should have just try harded that from the beginning. Oh shit! I don't get invasions here often. Hello! Bread there, Daniel. Sir Danielson. I'm behind you, Daniel. What the hell, Daniel? My dude? Come on, bro. I show you decency and this is what I get? I get, I get dummy. Fine then. I'll just die then. Yep, good fight. Am I nice? Yeah, you can evade the kill. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh well, they kind of deserve not to die. They were new to the game, I could tell. No, I'm not mad at that. That was my own. I let him live and let him stand there the whole time. I'll just die then, <laughs> yeah. Well, I could tell they were doing their first playthrough though, so it's okay. Ooh, oh, these are the same people. I know, I used to get a lot of invasions there, but now you don't really. There's some areas that are more dead than others. All right, no more kindness though, because they just do me dirty anyway. This is why Chase should just be sweaty 24-7. I read that comment a lot. I should, but I'd like to give them a fair chance also. Hello, boys. So what do we got? We got Larry Gooseman and Enraged Llama. How angry are you and why are you angry, Llama? What did, what did the world do to you, Llama? Please share with us. Oh, I can't tell. What is this? Is this some fair fight? Alright, Mr. Llama. 
Oh my god. That was actually perfect timing. No. 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 Chase doesn't die twice in a row. <laughs> Alright, Larry Gooseman. Let's do it, brother. Whoa! Holy fucking great club! <laughs> brother! You dare swing that huge thing into my face? Well, for that, you pay the price. <laughs> Chases die twice. <laughs> I know I died twice. I forgot about the other one. <laughs> Larry Gooseman, me and you, brother. It's me and you. Brother, can we bow? Yes, let's do it. Me, you, and Zub I mean, okay, double bow. I got this. All right. Shadows die twice. I guess I'm a shadow then, because I died twice. <laughs> I think this hyper armor up. I'm always trying to test shit, and it's very dangerous for my, my well being. We just stick to the good old basics and fight Larry. <laughs> good fight, sir. <laughs> Am I on PS4? No, I play on PC, man. I think PC just it always looks better. <laughs> it's just easier to make content on as well. What are some instant- most people say the Fallen Knight set is like, I'm on my first playthrough giveaway, but... I wore that for a while. I used to wear my crown with it, too. I thought it looked pretty cool. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Mr. Brugenite? Why did you grab this thing? <laughs> Okay, you wanna fight Danny? Whatever floats your boat. This thing's gonna follow you though, you gotta kill it. There you go. I I do the most dirty things to win? What? Were you one of the guys that just fought as an honor fight? You were the dude who parried with a Chaos Dagger. That's more of a dirty technique than fighting with anything else. Chaos Dagger is like OP and broken. So nothing I do is dirty. Everything I do takes skill <laughs> and timing. Dirtying is resummoning. Good fight, sir. The most annoying weapons. I, I probably use the most balanced weapons, to be honest. I never use meta weapons. Unless I'm fighting a dude with a straight sword. I fight with a straight sword. Like, it's fair. Whew. I use a controller too. And what even is in my inventory that's like a dirty weapon? What would you call in this a dirty weapon? It's probably the straight sword. It's honestly this is the best weapon in the inventory by far. And I'll only use it if someone's fighting me with it. Or if there's four of them and they're just like being defensive, you know? This is probably like the easiest to fight weapon, but I'm kinda bodying with it right now, so. It's doing well. I just gotta get good with the bigger weapons, that's all. Mustafa, hello, dude. How are you, man? Ah, uh, true. I mean, there's a lot of weapons. That, like, I'd rather fight a curved greatsword any day as opposed to like a curved sword or a straight sword, though. But I guess that's all personal preference. Travel. You reset the firelink shrine. 
Hello, Stiff Midget. How are you, man? Yeah, curved ultras are really easy to fight. I find. The R ones are pretty slow, telegraphed. You just gotta dodge at the right moment. Don't try to just outrange it. Try to just dodge and punish it. I'm good, I'm good. Sure. Yeah, ultras have a lot of damage. All things have like a drawback, right? So like ultras are kind of slow and easy to dodge, but if you're not as predictable with them, then like you can still perform well with them. There's times where people are chasing you, like three of them, and you turn and swing with an ultra and you catch them all, you know, and that's a big chunk of their health. So each thing has application, although in certain aspects they're bad, yeah. Not the best. Let's go to... Okay. Oh, they're over there. Hello. Oh, shit. This is not where I want to. That's a mage, and that is... I'm not crossing that. You have fun on there, buddy. Do I look stupid? Crystal soul spear me while you're on a bridge. You have no morals. <laughs> yeah, come here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cheese you off the bridge. I have honor, and that has latency. Okay, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Are you just gonna spam lightning? Okay, well then I won't be using a hyper armor weapon. See, now comes in the time where you do DPS that can roll away pretty. Wait. I gotta watch out for that bow guy in the distance. Actually, yeah, fuck the bow guy. That's actually scary. I bet you that bow guy is gonna do like half my health at some point. Okay, fair, fair. When did you get here? Get out of my face, you heathens! <laughs> Alright, you wanna parry? You go for those parries, brother. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on. How amazing of a win would that have been? Your parries are useless, Ricky. They hold no value. Enough with that. <laughs> oh, yes, that was so good, man. <laughs> I almost. Oh, did you do that? I almost killed with the Beyblade. So good. Uh, I used the Wex, right? Yeah, of course. It would just it would take way longer to get invasions without it. Yeah, I wonder like when it is that they get oh as a team. When they stop getting staggered. Cause he almost died. Oh yeah, the the, the twin axes are pretty easy to parry. I'm not, I don't like using them that much, but those two were pretty just spammy with the parries, so. Ow! That wasn't nice. Uh, okay. The third one, maybe? No, okay. 
pretty, you're pretty chill, aren't you there, Codex? Um, ow. Not sure what hit me, but ow. I cannot get by your big body. <laughs> get your big ass out of the way. Nyo, nyo, nyo. R1, come on, do it. There you go. It's a pretty steady, like, fest here. I like it. Except for that guy. Oh my god, that lag is crazy. What? I'm dead. I can't believe that. That was horrifying. Okay, thank you. Let me get by that ass. Oh my god, that was so scary. The straight sword was hitting me from miles away. Alright, time to be a little bit more conservative with. Died of that arrow? No? Good fight, Speedy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't like you can parry the twin axes, but I only like really risk it if it's a good connection. Cause damn, <laughs> TPG married and goodnight, dude. I dig, I dig the thumbnail, brother. <laughs> I don't know. There's been a lot of people with like cheese damage from far away. Um, I've done a couple, like, one combo streams, but it's kind of weird. Like, I find a lot of viewers that are just looking for duels, too, so at the same time, those builds wouldn't be good unless you surprise people. Oh, shit. This will be a tough one. Are you boys down there? I, I, it's Shadoza and friends, and I want to surprise them. They don't know I'm here yet, I don't think. Maybe they do. Ah, fuck it. Hello, boys! I am here! Surprise! What?! Okay, that still worked out somehow, but... Oh, lord! That's a straight sword. <laughs> All right, Scotty, this is scary. Oh God! Give me that back. Thank you. Get that out of the way. One down. These camera angles be not glorious. Ow. Fight, brother. <laughs> that one was scary. This hill, it makes it so hard to see. <laughs> that was actually tough. The camera angles are rough. And that's why you don't use great hammers. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Unless it's Lido's. Lido's is pretty good. And I do like my base door. It's got some good. It's got some good attacks. Wait, Snapple, which one were you? I used more. I used more recently. Uh, not the best, I have to say. Oh, you were in, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, Joseph. That's scary, though. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's hard to commit to like a slow weapon. Except for like the, I don't know, I never rock the Ring Knight paired strictly because they're so heavy. It's such a pain in the ass just to have the vitality to wield that. Oh my god, this guy just killed himself. Or he fell, unsure of the real outcome, but okay. What happened there, buddy? Thank you. 
Maybe after many years the great stream, Snipe Duck will make his appearance today. Yes, you gotta crave the blood, Scarber. There's lots to learn, a new text to uh, advance on. You got this. Yeah, you know, the Frostbite builds are fun. They actually get, like, they are useful, especially when subduing someone who's got, like, decent stamina. Hmm. And thank you, my scrubber. How was all of your stream yesterday? Um, okay, they haven't gone this way, obviously. I guess they're... This way? One died. Was that him falling in this ladder pit? Or was he did he die by Madeir? He's oh he's down here. I heard his ass. Oh, hello, brother. Anakin Skywalker. No, you aren't getting to that boss, homie. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> so close, and yet so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> oh, poor guy. How did the other dude die, though? <laughs> I think he fell down the ladder. That's, that's gotta be the guess here. Yes! I have been not doing those. I really- I, I, I do want to make them myself, though. Except for the claymore. The claymore was stolen. The other ones were made, though. Take some time. I gotta, I gotta gimp some transparent images. German. I feel like there's actually a lot of people that play Dark Souls that are German, Netherlands, Russian. It's a lot of dudes. Hello, Lucas. How are you, though? At least we have booty, yes. What else would we like? I need to make a list. I have the crow thing. You guys gave me some, but I didn't write them down that day. I need to, I need to relearn what you guys want. Got my beer at 2 a.m. Nice. I wonder what kind of, yeah, I guess Europe is more of a drinking state, yeah. How old do you have to be in Europe to drink? 16, I think. Something along those lines. Yeah, hello there, Neko. I prefer not to die the way you're about to. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> that wasn't it, Chief. <laughs> That's that, I think that that's the most damaging thing in the game, right? Yeah, he really should not have stood there. That one was a tough one. <laughs> Must be new to the maybe. Proud of him for going through the whole game as a mage if he's doing it alone though. Unless he's got like a squad. If you're a mage and you're that dude that summons the three tank players, you you didn't, you didn't beat Dark Souls. <laughs> Or insane. There's always that. True Shidoza. We can't knock that one. It's a possibility. Christmas gamers. Yes, I'm a Christmas gamer. What do you mean? I game on Christmas? This is weird. I hope he's been down here already. Damn it. <laughs> this ring placement is so different than my other ones. True, I don't know. Actually, I, I don't know. Yeah, Limit Breakers did something on that. I think it was the arrow people, but I'm not sure. I have been a full mage. I have a, a couple old Pyromancy videos too where I'm a pure pyro just PvPing. Pure pyro is not too terrible. 
Not terrible. Sorcery, I don't I don't enjoy the sorcery, but hey. And I'm pretty sure he's still up there, so we're gonna yeet out of here, because he might not even come down, dude. Sadly. Yeah, sometimes they chill at the top. I don't know why it puts the invader down there, though. Like, that's actually an area where you cannot get up to, so it's such a waste of, like, someone's time. I don't know why they do that. <sighs> that would be rad. Yeah, I, I, forget, I forget the last time I was a mage. It was a while ago. It just has that, like, more passive playstyle. It's hard to be, like, a super aggro mage, you know? Maybe at higher levels, like 140, I can be kind of tanky, but even then, fighting three people at once as a mage is tough. You kind of need a distraction. Even though me being a mage is the most annoying thing too as well. I'm trying to hear, I'm gonna go look at like my most recent... When was I a mage? Has been a while. I was definitely a mage like earlier, 2019, like mid. At the end I did some too. Faith, I've never really used that. That's true. Oh yeah, I also, that's right, I was a one, kind of like a very squishy one-shot mage as well. I actually pulled that off kind of well, but I did die more at that time. Yeah, the dust cosplay, that's right. Almost forgot about it. <laughs> the horrors that were just crystal soul spear and homing soul mass. Hello, bro, I didn't mean to do that to you. Why can I not lock on with my mouse not on the screen? Hello, brother. Oh, it's Auron, KTC, hello, bro. Stop myself an old-fashioned, beautiful battle until your blue arrives to save the day. I know that's bound to happen, but... Oh, and it's a fucking mage. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Got my work cut out for me. Surprise with some fries, Samantha. Now I'm the one who has health. Be who went to gank me with a mage? <laughs> How fucking rude, Corrin, after we bowed. Now it's do or die, brother. You are not gonna parry this, but I am gonna grab your bumble shot. And I wonder. Yeah, he'll get another blue. There we go. Okay. You keep those busy. I'll fight him after I kill this one. Yo ho! Blue be doo Um. Seagull, are you okay? You know what? We'll just leave him. He can randomly tag in when he feels the need to. Your blue is AFK. Blue doo be doo. Why are you poo? We need some help from you now. <laughs> oh! Good job, Onion! <laughs> <laughs> the blue is just taking a poop. He wasn't ready to be summoned. He knows not the way. Killed by an onion. <laughs> Listen, one day I gotta wear like just the onion helm. I mean, it's got good poise. I'll be onion knight. And I don't know why people hate dying to the onion. <laughs> it feels like a, a, a blow to the ego. Maybe not a full onion though. That's way too much vitality, but... I'm a spear of the church. Okay. Well, I mean, all right then. I'm being a spear of the church, guys. Sometimes the wax dust apparently gives you spear. I think it's going to fail. Anytime there's like a loading screen this long, it's... Oh! Or not? 
Hello, Kirk. Hey, you beautiful man, meat. Hello. I'm here to pray. Oof. You have pyromancies. Oh, God. <laughs> That's gonna be a rip from me, Kirk. I'm sorry. All right, then, random. <laughs> I wish I was a more teamed out dude, but all right. 26 vitality. Well, yes, but with what is the heaviest weapon? I guess Claymore is a decent. Throw a Claymore on there and tell me what I would need to be full on you. Yeah, that's true. It is. That's right. You know, I haven't been a spear in a while. I usually do when I'm not paying attention as well, so. All of a sudden, I look at my screen and I'm like, oh shit, I'm summoned. <laughs> oh, finally, I'm up top. And it appears he went down. But did he? I think he did. But we can hit him. Oh, he's way over there. Never mind. Yeah, I, I want to do a full strength build soon. I've been mostly doing like elemental and I did dex. I haven't used the fume in a while. He fugs Chad weapon. It is kind of. <laughs> Finally, I'm on top. Got a problem with me being on top. <laughs> oh, did you? Nice. <laughs> I think it's. I mean, how much does the fugs weigh compared to like? I'm trying to think of some heavy. Lido's is heavier, so I could use it in my strength build too. Hello, boys. What the hell? <laughs> what? What? What the hell is going on? Oh, this is the same laggy Dragon Slayer dude who was with that team in the Ashes of Ariandel, I think. He was like hitting me from like... Um... That's my kick! Holy! Let's see when this hits him. Oh, right then, okay. Interesting. Did I get that backstab? It feels like I did. I guess not. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. You need to stop with the... How are you up so fast? What is going on? No, how do I stop? Come back here, you heathen. At least I have this. Like, the hyper armor is the only thing that's making me survive right now. Right, let's just regain my stamina and then let's begin our trades. Oh, well... There's my hit. It just uh, happened a lot after his hit. Oh no! Frostbite. Shit. Oh, he's not gonna come back down. Oh my god, are you joking? Why are they so cheesy with that, dude? It's like every person knows. <sighs> well, guess we leave. Cause he's actually, he's not gonna, oh, he doesn't see me. He is gonna fucking come down. He's stuck there. Have fun being fucking stuck. You either come down or eat all the damage. I will blow you away with my my arrow. Oh, you fucked up, you fucked up, little one. That's gonna knock you right down, let's go. Fuck. Yes, fuck yes. Oh, you are so unlucky. <laughs> you're dead. I hit you twice, you're dead. What, what? How are you? What is happening? <laughs> Die! I've already hit you, you're already dead! 
What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tell me that there's latency for both people and it's fair when that's my experience. There is no fucking way. <laughs> Guy just like sees my hits and he's blocked. He sees them. Like I know he's seeing them properly. I can tell. <laughs> it's based on how he's moving. And then he just fucking backstabs me as if I'm just like doing nothing to him. Christ. <laughs> Shit, <-dosa. laughs> Hey. Call bullshit. And they backstab you from the front, yes. God, that's scary. I hope I hope Elden Ring has better matchmaking than that though, to be honest. That's all I'm hoping for. Okay, a blue. Oh, yes! Pog blue. No more kindness for your kind. All you do is rape me from behind. Goodbye. Your turn. I usually have come to play, but this time it's a different story, little one. I'm here, Shidoza. I'm here. And you better beware, brother. You better beware. Coming in hot. Yes, the curved great sword knows many depths. No. No. I'm on you like ugly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay, I'll let you heal. My, my rage has subsided. <laughs> I realized I was being kind of vicious. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> that was very mean of me. Where's the Chad Phantom Ring? Huh? My bum was denied. No. My booty. It only claps for those who are worthy. Ow. <laughs> Maybe I should have regen on, but I don't. Yes, good fight, Shidoza. <laughs> That's close. The mystical Mexican connection. I, I pray for that. I want that. That was anime ending. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're both like throwing daggers. Like, please die to the dagger, please. <laughs> uh, do I think it's fair that ultra curve swords like this can be parried even two handed? Yeah. I mean, they are slow, but they're not as slow as ultras. Kind of makes sense. They're not as insane in size, so... It does suck, though, that every attack from a curved greatsword, except for, like, the weapon art, is parryable. I feel like that's why they're not used as much, but at the same time... They do a lot of damage for what they are. So, you know... I'm just so happy that you can't parry two-handed ultras like you can in Dark Souls 1. That, like, that would make ultras just not worth it at all. Oh, true, and the heavy, sorry, the heavy cannot be parried. I didn't mean to do a running attack. Yeah, the exile damage is insane. Is it, is the exile damage, like, can you get it higher on, like, a chaos build than you can, let's say, a lightning, not a lightning Lothric, but, like, a blessed Lothric or, like, a, a sharp Lothric ultra? Probably, right? 
I've never really looked at their damage output comparatively, but I feel like the Lothric, the Lothric is a high up one for Ultras, so. Controller or keyboard? I use, I use my controller, but keyboard is just as good in some scenarios. They have things better than we do, and we have some things that are better. I think the 360 movement is nice. Okay, well, thanks. I hate the grandma so much, I know. <laughs> it's anything that can just push you and just like get you off uh, balance in the game right away. So annoying. It's a very rough. The wind got him, damn. Damn, son. My Chaos Lothric is- uh, yeah, but the Chaos Lothric is different because it does three-way split damage. I'm, I want to compare it two-way, so I want, like, either Sharp, Blessed, or Lightning-infused Lothric. And the Blessed does more than Lightning, so just throw Lightning out there. So it's either Blessed, Sharp with Lothric, or versus Chaos for Exile, since they both do split damage, not triple. Like, not three-way. Three-way split is worse, actually. Maybe not for crits, though. It depends on, like, what the armor the opponent's wearing, too, but... Yeah, Lightning was worse than Blessed. I find that so interesting. Pretty cool, though. They actually gave a couple weapons that can be Blessed-infused. The, the AR the Blessed deserves sometimes. Whoa! Hello there. I don't want you to die the same way your other witch friend died. Father! <laughs> Father. Rip, Father. The arrows didn't even touch him, but they would have. I saved you an honorable death instead of a PvE death. Oh, his name was Feather? <laughs> I really only glanced at it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna hit up the final invasion. It's been fun testing this out. Uh, while, while I think about builds tonight that I'm gonna do, I usually chat with Lost after our stream too, so we'll probably make another build. What kind of build would you guys like to see? Uh, I don't want to do all mage on like a Monday or a Tuesday, that'd be better later in the week. <laughs> Let's do any, any physical type build for tomorrow would be great, because I still want to work on like my inventory sorting and swapping, so. Whatever you guys would like. Yeah, anything with, in, with innate lightning damage is better blessed. That's my that's my rule that I think I've, I've found, and I, I think it's right. I, I don't quote me on it, but from my experience, I've seen that. Surprise us. Okay, well then, what level would you like? I know I haven't done like 40, 60 in a long time. I've been like 80, 120, 130 the past like month, so. Would you guys like like 60 again? Or are, you, are you enjoying the 80, 100 range? What would you like? Seventy. Seventy is new. Seventy plus seven? We could try that. Hey, it's Death's Envoy. Wasn't this the super sweaty team that vestiged me to death? It was. Yeah. Nice. Look at that ass, Arena. Wait, what? That was the host? <laughs> Send do soul level 35. Okay, I could try 35, I guess. 35 with like plus four weapons. I'll try that. I'll have that and a 70 ready just in case like I don't get as much action. I'll do one more because that was too fast. That was much too fast. Thank you, son. Uh hollow builds at high level, like 130 without damage for flying builds. Just because you can have 30 luck. 
and then have a 40-40 quality base, and like you'll you'll be doing high damage. Yeah, you can also put like resins on it, like poison and stuff, and they do better because luck is high in those builds. But yeah, at the same time, like a lot of quality weapons that are very good, I would say, are Black Knight weapons, like boss weapons, and they don't they can't be hollowed, so you're not getting much damage out of those. So it's more for like infused weapons that would be better. So like if you had like a Carthus Cure Great Sword, you know, or like anything that can be infused will do better. Hollow and 40-40 strength decks and then have 30 luck and, and the hollow weapons give you 5 luck. So like technically if you have a hollow Cestus and a hollow sword, wow that's sad, I would have liked to fight that. <laughs> then yeah. Um yeah, quality builds were the best when the game was new because they didn't they didn't have good elemental scaling in the game. So if you had like a lightning infused weapon, it was doing really poor damage compared to like a pure physical with a buff, but then they, they buffed elemental, so that's good. I think they really should have kept qualities damage and scaling the way it was, because some dark and chaos scaling is it's insane, like the like the exile like we mentioned. So a lot of the time now you like would need a buff at all times for it to even be balanced with a weapon that's elemental. So they should have kept it how it was and just buffed elemental, I think. Or just lowered quality and not buffed elemental like they could they could have done that i don't know why they lowered one boosted one it kind of made elemental stronger yeah they made like the, i know they made everything better except for quality which they thought was too op but like because they buffed everything else they made quality really only strong in terms of like i would say already innate quality weapons like black knight great axe black knight sword black knight like all those do really well but like a refined claymore loses out to like a, a dex claymore, which is weird for the amount of stats you put into it, you know? I'm gonna just sit up here where it's safe for a second. I'll be down in but a moment, one sec. You boys are my final battle. Let it begin, straight sword could- uh, really? Still throw one? <laughs> My dude, you're supposed to do that after you do damage, not before. <laughs> you think you're gonna out damage me that hard? The answer, my ally, is no. That is not how this is gonna go down. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, well. I do wanna try something. Before we get that here. You heal. You heal up. Let's see, what do I want? What has good crit? Nothing really, but whatever. Attack me, you heathen. I wanna see how well this timing works. Okay, well you can summon your ally. I have tests I want to do anyway. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Brother, fight me. Oh. Fight me, you coward. Okay, he's only gonna fight when his teammate gets here. <laughs> Guess I'll wait. <laughs> Bro, what? Aha! Aha, that would be so good. Maybe I can get him though. Hey, maybe you. You got a great sword. Ah. That's not what I want. Get out of here. Come at me, splish splash douche. What? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's a really good technique that I need to master now. Because I'm two-handing a weapon, they don't expect a parry. 
Bro, your boy out here getting clapped. Aha, uh -huh, too slow. Dude. Uh -huh. I need to master. I think different weapons have different Cestus performances. Oh, because I. Yeah, okay. You bastards. Stop it. No, you're not attacking. Okay. Come at me, brother. No, not like that. <laughs> not in that manner. What? Ah. Oh well, fine. So it is death you have chosen. <laughs> Damn it. No. Slow at attacking. Alright, GG. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, GG. Good fight. <laughs> you expect someone to attack you, you know? Apparently not. Alright boys, I will test that out more later. I forgot about that. I forgot I wanted to try and work on that. At least I landed it once. It's just essentially like when you're fighting an opponent and you have a, a perseverance weapon art, let's say, you just hard swap to another weapon and you're able to parry, right? So it's a really good catch someone off guard moment because they think you're not going to be able to parry them. Even if you took the weapon off, it works. <laughs> Alright boys, thank you so much for tuning in this entire time though. Uh, I'll be, I'll try to make a level 35 and a 60 for you guys. I know I haven't done that in a long time, so. I owe my peeps that. Uh, Sen, thank you so much for the donation, man. Scrubber, thank you for supporting the channel and all that you've already done, bro. Bro. Can't speak English, dude. Uh, Matthew, my man, thank you. King Nigel, thank you. Uh, what is this and why is it not loading? Oh, uh, there we go. Sin, thank you, my man, for all the donations today. There was a lot. Darth Uchiha as well, thank you. Nigel, my man, again, thanks, bro. And everybody else that subbed and became a member, I appreciate it, boys. I'm gonna do like a member stream where I just create my build and you guys can see like what I do on Souls Planner and stuff. It'll be like just like a chill stream. I think that's what I wanna do for it. That way we can just talk stats and stuff. And I can talk to the ones that actually are like very interested in that. So, thanks, boys. Get some sleep. I don't know if Lost is still st streaming. Let's check. I know there's no hosting on YouTube, but there's manual bro hosting. So, like, that's a thing. Uh, he is not. He got off probably like right as I got off, too. All right, boys. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. What the hell? Keyboard is confusing. Good night. <laughs>